How you doing everyone? Sean O'Kane here with Ship Estimate TV. We're here at ArmTechCon 2016. My guest today is the incomparable Mr. Frank Schurmeister, Senior Group Director, Product Management, System and Verification Group at Cadence. Thank you very much for spending a little time. Thanks for having me. All right, you just got through uh, doing a demo mm -hmm. and we'll talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. That looked pretty cool. So what are some of the key trends that you have seen here at ArmTechCon this year? One word, I think security was the biggest uh, trend um, or the biggest keyword. IoT, we all talk about the Internet of Things or as we would say in Germany, Industry 4.0, <laughs> Industry 4.0, um, the, the machine to machine, right. all the connectivity, that's a big item. But then last Friday's incident with IoT devices bringing down DNS servers and then I think everybody was sufficiently scared after Master Sun's keynote on Tuesday to go back to go into their car. Unencrypted. Unencrypted everything, right? So I think security is probably um, the, the biggest item, uh, security and safety related to it. Um, uh, the biggest key trends in the context of IoT, making sure that nobody listens in what my heart rate is at any given time. So the lady I'm talking to doesn't know that my heart rate is slightly elevated and things like that. So ah. security like that is important on a yeah. personal level, but then obviously on a safety and security level between devices, joking aside, yeah. it's critical as we have seen last Friday. Absolutely, and uh, you know, especially in the automotive space, and that's why I drive a 1956 Chevy. Exactly. No computer technology. No software. In the, yeah. No software. <laughs> we have a little fun here. Uh, but any other exciting news here at, at uh, ArmTechCon? A couple of things happened this week. We um, announced on uh, Monday that uh, Palladium, which is a supercomputer itself, Palladium Z1, was selected by Fujitsu to um, uh, develop their post-K ARM-based supercomputer. So it's kind of supercomputer helping right. develop a supercomputer. That's uh, very cool. One thing happened this week. The other one here actually related to, to security and then safety for cars mm -hmm. specifically. Uh, we announced yesterday that a large set of the Cadence product portfolio, including the verification tools and the implementation tools, has been um, um, safe to use, the whole mm -hmm. safety compliance uh, piece. So there are safety manuals and it's safe to use our tools that has been uh, confirmed by the TÜV in, in Germany and we announced all that, it's safe to use for automotive design. And I was just going to uh, touch on what, what is ARM and Cadence doing together in the verification, the area of verification. Area of verification, we have uh, Palladium Z1 on the floor here. Right. There are a couple of pieces, hardware and software going together. We work uh, closely with the fast model team uh, in ARM. Mm -hmm. So you develop um, hybrids, uh, on hybrids, so you have the fast models running very fast, uh, representing the processor subsystem. And then you have a graphics unit, a GPU mm -hmm. in Palladium at full accuracy, running at about a megahertz in emulation. Mm -hmm. So that hybrid combination, being able to trade accuracy and, and speed is very important. Another thing we do is, uh, there are all these debug uh, capabilities. So ARM has DS5 uh, for debug and they have software debug capabilities in their chips, called one of them called mm -hmm. Tarmac, and um, the, um, uh, those connections are something we closely partner on to make sure that hardware software can be debugged uh, uh, together. So uh, right before this, you were just finishing up a demonstration of uh, Cadence uh, Palladium Z1, it, the first enterprise emulation platform uh, that Cadence has but it was a finalist also in the Innovation Award here um, at ARM TechCon. You want to talk just a little bit more about sure, that? Sure, yeah, that was fun. It was quite an honor. It's always an honor to be selected for those awards. Uh, I didn't have to thank the Academy or anybody because we ended up not winning. It's an honor to be uh, to was in the top three finalists. Uh, Hexibear, a, a, a micro company from NXP, NXP yeah. one which is a really, I must admit, that is a cool design too. It's a reference platform uh, for developing IoT devices. Um, so yeah, it was an honor to be uh, selected, um, mostly because we are enabling a lot of ARM-based design. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the devices here, if you look at the 
um, controllers, the, the hubs and gateways and even the mobile devices and servers, most of them run on emulation and we have a, a very significant uh, market position in emulation. So enabling ARM-based design and that innovative, um, innovative technologies like Palladium Z1 being recognized, it's always an honor. Well, it's always good catching up with you at ARM TechCon every year. Thank you. And uh, hopefully uh, uh, this summer at DAC. Absolutely. Yeah. Looking forward yeah. to see you there. So for Frank Schurmeister, my name is Sean O'Kane. We'll see you next time on Chip Estimate TV. See you next time. Thank you.